Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to do some test dyeing of these um, sample pieces that I've cut from my fabrics. So I've cut out um, like varying strips and things um, depending on how much fabric I've got of the actual material. Um, yeah, so like for this fabric, for example, I've only got a little bit of it, so I've only cut a small piece out of that material. I don't know why this is in here anyway, I'm not dyeing this fabric. Maybe I'll try. But that's the skin colour um, for the midriff part. Anyway, so these are all the fabrics that I'm going to test dye. So I already tried test dyeing them with um, this eye dye poly, um, which didn't work, but it's not the dye's fault, it's actually my fault because I didn't follow the instructions. Um, but now I've bought equipment so I can do the fabric dyeing over the stove. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so in terms of the fabrics I've got, I've got, let's start with the bodice. I've got um, this cotton sateen, I believe, which is a light sky blue. So I've got two, two cut out of that. So what I might do is like, do two different test dyes um, depending on how the color turns out and things. Um, yep, so that's that one. Then I've got these, these pieces are the material for the pants, so they're a lot flowier. Um, I think this is also pant material, so that's the pants. And then I've got, oh that's also the bodice there. Um, and then I've got a lot of chiffons and then I think this is organza, I don't, I don't know what this is. Whatever you think this is. Um, this is going to be the skirt overlay part. Um, so I've got a piece of that. I've got another piece here. And then I've got some varying chiffons. So I've got a very, very transparent chiffon, which are these two, or maybe it's this one. I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe it's this one. Gosh, now they seem the same. Okay, I don't know which one it is, but one of them's a bit lighter weight than the other. Um, so two of those, and those are for like the veil, um, the little sleeve capped things. Um, yeah, that sort of thing to add movement over the top. And then finally, I've got this chiffon, which is a white chiffon with gold um, detailing all along it. And um, this is what I'm going to use for the little cape thing that she has. Um, it has little gold sparkles all down the back of it. And I really don't want to hand stitch all of those down. I mean, there's already a, a lot of embroidery going on on the pants. So that's why I've picked up this one which already has those gold details on it. So I'm curious to know if the dye will go through this gold, the gold parts. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So that's everything I've got. And I've got my pot of boiling water on the stove right now. And soon it will be time to add the dyes. So the two dyes that I picked up from the shop are the Rit Dye More Synthetic range and I got sapphire blue and peacock green. Um, I've never used these dyes before and I've never dyed over the stovetop before so I'm really hoping that this goes to plan. Um, I'm going to mix these two together and I think I'm going to have a bit more of the peacock green than I am going to have of the blue and I have no idea how I'm going to leave, how long I'm going to leave the fabric in for or anything like that. So I'll just discuss it as I go along. And in terms of what color I'm aiming to achieve, it's like this turquoise color, which is the thread that I've picked up. So, oh gosh, the lighting is terrible. I hope, I hope you can sort of see what I'm going for there. Um, and yeah, so there's my big pot of boiling water. I filled it up about halfway and then added a bottle cap each of um, each of the dyes. Um, <laughs> I didn't read the instructions and the first one, which is in capitals, is shake well before use. I did not do that. So the two caps that were put in were not shaken well, <laughs> but I just dipped in some uh, 
tissue toilet paper and this is the color that has come out and they say that this is a good test to do to figure out um, what the color will look like um, yeah like what what color is in there at the moment which apparently is this and I'm quite liking it um, but I think maybe a bit darker maybe I'll add a bottle cap each more of each of the jar each of the dyes and then see what happens but I don't want to go too dark I just want to keep it light and then gradually go darker I think yeah and stir so they say to keep constantly stirring it um, to make sure that the color is evenly distributed I don't know how long to leave them in for. I feel like this is going to die really quickly because it's hot water. Does that look dyed already? To me it does. Okay, well, I'm going to continue doing this off camera and yeah, I'll update you guys when I decide to take it out which I think I want to do now. So yeah, let me go, let me go take out these pieces and see if they're the color that I want. I literally only just put them in. They haven't even been in there for a minute and I'm already like, oh, I want to take it out. <laughs> so it's been about five minutes now and I think I want to leave it in. I want to see what happens after 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, um, especially with those lighter fabrics. So like when I take some of them out, um, I mean the blue ones aren't really dying because they're a thicker sort of synthetic fabric, whereas these lighter materials seem to have died um, quite quickly. But that could change when I... Um, pull them out and rinse them under water and you know once they're dried the color might fade as well so I think I just want to leave it in for longer and just see what happens you know but um hopefully that gives you an idea of what's happening so far after about five minutes so yeah so it's been about 10 minutes now a bit over 10 minutes um, and I've just pulled out one of the fabrics and washed it under water and as you can see it's looking very green um, a bit more green than what I was after I think I want more blue in it um, and here's the thicker fabric which will take longer to dye um, this this fabric I think I might leave it in longer but with all of these um, lightweight chiffons and things like that I think I'm going to take them out now um, I think there's like two of each in there currently so I'm going to take out just one of each rinse them out and then um, I'm going to add in some more blue dye and then leave in the other pieces for a bit longer and see what happens if I add more blue so let's see how that goes so I've just added a splash, like, I don't know, like I, I tried to put in as little as possible of some extra blue. Um, so I'm just going to say I put a splash of extra blue in and these remaining pieces I'm going to leave in for an extra five to 10 minutes. Um, so then that would bring it up to a total of these pieces being in here for about 25 minutes, if my math is correct. Um, yeah 25 to 30 minutes um, these pieces have been in here and then as for my other pieces which I pulled out um, those are just on the side there so those ones have been in for about 15 minutes I would say um, so yeah I'm just going to let those dry and then let the color settle and see what happens with those and then compare them to these ones which have a dash of extra blue and have been uh, cooking longer if you will <laughs> so these are the 15 minute ones um, yeah now that I look at them maybe they haven't actually really been dyed and they could stay in longer but I just want to do this for a comparison and maybe what I'll do is I'll chop off half of this and half of that and half of the others 
and put them back in with some more blue and leave them in for longer, maybe maybe even up to 45 minutes to an hour, um, just to see what will happen, you know? Um, so that's the first round done. <laughs> so I just pulled out one of the blue pieces um, for the pants and this is what it's looking like. I mean, it's all wet still, so the color is darker than what it will be when it dries. But just to compare it to the blue fabric um, before, you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit darker. And if I compare it to my thread, it's getting there. And if you compare it to my teal fabric that I bought, um, I bought this one because I wanted to try it and it is the right color, um, but I think it might be too thick, which is why I want to um, dye this light blue fabric and the other light blue fabric to make the bodice and pants out of, but I'm going to make version one out of that. Um, yeah, just to experiment and um, also to color match and the colors seem to match. Oh, what was that? My pot. <laughs> My pot's making funny noises. Okay, so those ones there up to here have been in for about um, close to 30 minutes. So maybe 25, 20 minutes. Whereas these ones have been in for 10 to 15 minutes. These ones had more blue added, but now I've just gone ahead and added even more blue to here. And I'm hoping that the green will sort of just peek through, but not be too green like what I've got currently, because I don't know, I feel like these are still a bit too green. And here are my sample things over here. So that one there is the latest color, which is more blue compared to that, which is more green. You probably can't really tell, um, but in real life you can tell. <laughs> And while I was dyeing things, I thought I may as well dye this dress that I had. Originally, I wanted to dye it a very light shade of blue um, to be an Aurora-inspired dress. I'll insert a picture here from the new Maleficent movie. Um, yeah, I really love um, the dress that Elle Fanning wears as Aurora. And I wanted something inspired by that, but no, the dress ended up being a bit too dark, which at first I was very disappointed with, but then the colour soon grew on me and I was actually quite pleased from, uh, about it. So it went from this colour to this, and I think I low-key feel like Jasmine in this dress. Okay, so I'm back from dyeing. Well, it's, it's now the evening and I started dyeing this afternoon. Okay, so I've got all my samples here. I tried I tried to section them off into um, the time limits they were in the pot for, but uh, I don't know, I got confused and some of them got mixed up, so I don't think it's completely accurate. And um, looking at it now, they all look the same to me. Um, just to show you, like, that pile there were all left in for about 15 minutes. This pile half an hour, this pile 45 minutes perhaps, an hour, and then these ones were the ones that I forgot about and they were left in there for who knows how long. <laughs> so, I don't know, looking at them all together like this, they look the same. But if I pick up, for example, one that was left in for a very long time, uh, this is the bodice fabric, um, and then compare that to the one that was left in for 15 minutes, you can, you can see a difference. Can you see that? That one's definitely more blue, and this one's more of a tealy green color. And then if I were to put the other ones in between, so there's half an hour there, 45 minutes here, and then I don't have one for an hour, but this is the one that was over an hour. You can see the very gradual change. And what I'm thinking is dyeing different sections of the bodice, um, depending on 
which panel they are and then having like some sort of gradient effect between the panels I think that would add some interest so I'm quite happy with all of these colors really and I, th I feel like even though I did add in extra blue um, towards the end so these ones have more blue in them whereas those ones are probably more green I feel like all of the colors despite them being all in the pot for different amounts of time I feel like everything is cohesive so I'm not too worried about getting a perfect color for my actual fabric um, I think maybe the thing that I need to watch out for is with the chiffon uh, with this sort of chiffon with the sparkles on um, this was left in for 15 minutes and you can see it's it's very slightly green um, but it's it's still very light in terms of the shade whereas if you compare that to the one that was left in for an hour this one's very green I, I don't know how well this is showing on camera but that's very green and that's that's a lot lighter so um, I think that's the only thing that I need to really watch out for is like if I want this to be light I have to keep an eye on it because it um, it darkens after 15 minutes um, quite a bit so yeah um, what I'm going to do is pin not pin staple staple all of these samples into my book and that way I can refer to them when I do get around to dyeing the rest of my fabric. So I haven't actually dyed any of the fabric yet. I need to actually work on that. That's the bodice and that's... Uh, yeah. I was distracting myself by dyeing things. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll... I'm glad I did the dyeing today. At least I know that I don't need to buy any extra dye because I was worried that the colours that I got perhaps were too dark. Um, the bottles looked very dark, so I was concerned that I might need to get a sky blue colour dye. But I'm pretty happy with what I've got. So I know that the dyes work and I can use them for my fabrics. So when I do get up to that stage, which is probably in a few months... <laughs> realistically um, yeah I know exactly what I'm doing okay so I've got the original fabric pieces here um, just so I can compare them to see the difference that the dye has made so um, this one here is the pant fabric and that is oh, that that is the change um, here and here from the original this one the bodice fabric has changed a bit as well and even the 15 minute one um, there is a slight difference and then obviously all of the chiffons and I don't even know what they are chiffon organza I'm guessing all of these have um, obviously changed as well so yeah um, it's it's really it's really cool to see all the colors change um, into that green tealy color um, yeah it's really pretty I, I really just want to get started on the actual fabric but I can't because I don't I don't even know what I need to cut out of them and I you know I need to use them sparingly because they were expensive and it's not like I can get more of it um, so I do need to I do need to focus on this on that and then once I've done that with um, the teal fabric that I'm not going to use for my actual costume um, then I can know that the bodice will actually work and then I can go ahead and use this fabric. 